Hey there, biologists, Mr. Fodd here. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down what claim and evidence and reasoning is, and then providing an analogy and an example. First up, let's break down this, uh, this acronym. C stands for claim. A claim is a clearly defined and objective statement. E stands for evidence. These are a series of collected observation and bits of data that then support the claim. Reasoning. This is a justification of why the evidence supports the claim. Let's take a look at an analogy. A great analogy for this would be a lawyer. A lawyer, when they are on the job, are going to be in court. When they're in their court, then they're going to make claims or accusations about the opposing or defending team. Then, before the judge and jury, they need to present a series of pieces of evidence. All of these evidence are then laid out in front of the judge and jury for everybody to see. Next, after they presented all of their pieces of evidence, then they are going to explain their reasoning or argumentation here as to why those pieces of evidence support the claim or accusations that they are then making. However, there is one caveat. When they are doing their explaining and reasoning, they cannot argue outside of the realm of evidence in which they did not present. If they did not present a piece of evidence, they cannot argue that point. And so this could result in an objection. Now let's take this to a real example. Much like our class, we're doing an intro to CER activity. Mrs. Ferguson's doing a similar activity. So let's take a look at her image. I'm going to pick out three objects that she has. The first I see is a bib. The second I see here is a swim diaper. The third I see is like a small toy. So these are gonna be my three objects. And what I see that's in common with these things is they seem to relate to maybe having like a small child, possibly a baby, maybe a young toddler, uh, either or like a small child or something. So if I break this down into my CER, my claim is going to be Mrs. Ferguson has a young child. Well, how do I know that she has a young child? What are my pieces of evidence? Well, for instance, she has an eating bib. Eating bibs are for her baby. A swim diaper is also for her baby, and then small toys. These are my pieces of evidence. Notice how I didn't explain anything within the evidence piece. I just listed my pieces of evidence. Now I can go ahead and explain my reasoning in the R portion of this. Bibs are designed for babies to use while they're eating. Swim diapers are designed also for babies to use, however, during swim activities. Young children also like to play with small toys, such as the little soccer ball that she has. And so these pieces of evidence that I've had are then going to support this claim that it looks like Mrs. Ferguson might have a young child. Thank you all for listening. Let me know if you happen to have any further questions.